So this is my Windows 10 with an Intel Core i7 processor laptop. This is the computer I use to edit all my YouTube videos. So as you can see, it has a one terabyte hard drive and it's getting pretty full. So I've went ahead and ordered a replacement hard drive, a two terabyte solid state drive. It's a Western Digital Blue and I'm gonna go ahead and install it. But first, I need to make sure that I've done everything that I need to do to download Windows 10 installation program. So I've went to the Windows Microsoft site and I've done everything they've asked me to. I've downloaded a copy of the Windows 10 program. Now I did download the 32 and 64 bit versions. It gives you an option to do that uh, because I have a friend that wants his computer cleaned and I'm gonna go ahead and clean that for him and probably just go ahead and reinstall a fresh copy of Windows 10 onto it. So now to do this, you need to go to the microsoft.com slash en dash us slash software dash download slash Windows 10 site. And then you're able to go ahead and download this program onto a USB. Now keep in mind, it's going to reformat your USB. So if you have any files on it you want to save, make sure you save those to a different USB or a different hard drive before you start. Also, anything that you have on your laptop or your desktop that you want to save, export those onto a separate hard drive or onto a separate USB because it's going to wipe those out if you're using your same hard disk. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shut down my computer. I have all the files backed up that I want to back up at this time. So I'm going to go down here to start. I'm going to tell it to shut down at this point. Now that it's completely shut down, I'm gonna go ahead and close the case. Let's get some lights on so you guys can see what's going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the screws from the bottom. Now it's just a matter of unsnapping all the little snaps all the way around this guy. Once that's done, there's nothing that holds the bottom in place. It can be lifted off. And so here's the battery in this unit. Before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the battery completely. That way there's no power with the exception of the CMOS backup battery. Now this one has a couple of LEDs and this is the lid closed detection switch here. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this plug loose. I think I'll go ahead and take both sides out completely. Just remove it. This is the hard drive connection cable. Go ahead and pull it loose. Then we can just lift the hard drive completely out of this unit. Remove the SATA plug, because we're going to use that over on the new drive. So it's disconnected. The hard drive is completely free now. So I've got my brand new Western Digital 2 terabyte solid state drive right here. So I'll go ahead and get it out of the package. Get it ready to go. Okay, so it tells me to remove this before installing. Okay, it has been removed. Now I'll go ahead and put the rubber bumpers on. I'm going to go ahead and reattach the SATA power plug. I'll lay the hard drive back in its little cradle right there. Hopefully that's not in the way. Reattach the cable for the hard drive. Go ahead and reattach the LED cable as well. LED and lid closed switch.
Anyhow, while this is apart, it's a good idea to make sure your heat sink is cleaned out, that your fan blades are clean as well. Uh, this is the cooler for the microprocessor, for the i7 processor. I know if you notice that one of my Wi-Fi ports is broken on this unit. The jack is actually broken off of the board. I believe that is a manufacturing defect. I may choose to replace it at another time, but I think I'm just gonna live with it as is. It seems to work pretty fine with only one Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect the battery. And I'll go ahead and snap the bottom cover back on it. I'm just not going to go ahead and reattach the bottom cover. Okay, so here is my Windows 10 copy. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my USB jack. And I'm going to hit the power button. And it should come up with a message that there's no bootable device unless it looks at the USB. There it is. Choose an operating system. Let me zoom in on that. Windows Boot Manager. Choose an operating system to start or press tab to select a tool. Use the arrow keys to highlight your choice, then press enter. So I have both Windows 10 32-bit and 64-bit on this USB. And it's decided to go ahead and choose the Windows 10 64-bit because it was highlighted. Next, install now. Some of these sequences may be sped up. License terms, you must accept those to continue. So I'm going to go to custom install because this is a new drive. I don't know if I want to create a new partition. I'm just going to go ahead and install it and we'll let it go. So it should be pretty fast with a solid state drive. It should actually be able to really quickly install these files. We'll see how long it actually takes. I'm just going to set my stopwatch here. You may or may not be able to actually see it. All right, so there it is. I have basically a couple of things installed. I have my Chrome installed. Let's see how fast it opens. And we'll open up YouTube. That's definitely much better than it was. Anyhow, it's working great. So all I've got left to do is go ahead and install my video editing software and a couple of other things. And we'll get this baby back up and running and editing some videos in the future. Anyhow, I think that's going to be about it. Um, look at that. Got a new Dark Fluff, a new South Main Auto Repair, a new Lewis Rossman, um, HVACR Videos, um, RR and BD Driving School. Those are some of the things I watch. MK. I'm not sure about the uh, Alan Alda interview or the Zenith Royal 2000. I'll probably, I might watch that. It's a recap on an old Zenith radio. 
and how things are working absolutely perfectly. Why does this guy hate this ancient Sony SLO260 Beta VCR? What the heck? Those are great machines. Anyhow, working great. So I certainly hope this helped somebody figure out how to install a solid state drive in their computer. Now, I didn't have to enter a Windows key to get this going because on these computers, there is actually an EEPROM on the main board that saves the Windows key information, so you do not have to enter it. Anyhow, once again, I want to go ahead and give my sincere thank you to those who have supported my channel with a donation via PayPal or by having me repair your unit. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. It really does help my channel grow. Remember, you can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at NorCal715. You can email me, NorCal715videos, at gmail.com. Don't forget to leave a comment, a question, a concern down below. I try to read all the comments and respond when I certainly have time. Remember, if you lower your expectations low enough, you'll never be disappointed. No, that's not the right one. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Once again, everybody have a great day. I really appreciate you watching these videos. Bye-bye.